Let's talk about your mistake response. Your mistake response. We said last night that basketball is a game of mistakes. You know you're going to make mistakes. The best players in the world make mistakes all the time. So if you know you're going to make mistakes, it makes sense then to have a productive response to those mistakes. Most players don't. Most players, if we take a look at a graph, no good college was complete without at least one graph. If we take a look at a graph here, and let's say along this vertical axis, we're going to graph your activity level. In other words, how active you are during a game. And let's say along this horizontal axis, we're just going to put minutes in a game. So one minute into the game, two, three, four, 32 minutes for a high school game, 40 minutes for a college game. Basketball is a game of starts and stops. You'll sprint down on a fast break. There'll be a dead ball. You'll sprint back on defense. So when this game starts, your activity level might look something kind of like this. You'll sprint, you'll slow down, you'll sprint, you'll slow down. But at some point in this game, you're going to make a mistake. You're going to turn the ball over, you're going to miss a shot. At some point, you're going to make some type of mistake. Most players, the average typical player, whenever they make a mistake, they'll have a droop in their activity level or a decrease in their activity level. In other words, they'll make a pass that gets intercepted and they'll get disgusted for a split second. Or they'll go in for a shot and they think they get bumped on the shot and they miss the shot and the referee doesn't call a foul. And then they got to look at the, look at the referee and say something to the referee or make some type of gesture. Or they take a shot and they miss it and they just got to hang their head for a second. Most players, the average typical player, when they make a mistake, they'll have a droop, a decrease in their activity level. You want to see if you can change that. You want to see if when you make a mistake, you want to see if you can animate. Animate. To animate means to enliven or to increase your activity level. In other words, when you make a pass to the wing that gets intercepted, instead of hanging your head, you want to hustle back even harder. Tyler, you take number 15, I got the ball. Increase your communication. Increase your activity level. You want to see if whenever you make a mistake, instead of having the habit of hanging your head or having some type of droop in your activity level, animate. And this is not something that the average fan is ever going to notice about you. But a good coach is going to always notice your mistake response. A good coach is going to always notice how you respond when you make a mistake.